Hey everyone, this is Two Girls One Quick Look of Blind Date. It's not what it seems, or so we're told. Blind dates never are. This is basically maybe how the worst or best way a blind date can go. With horrors. <laughs> you check your phone. She's ten minutes late. You're not sure what to do, and discomfort starts to settle in your stomach. What do you want to do? Take a sip of water. We should stay hydrated. That's good. Then we'll have to pee in the middle of the date and yeah. then, like, we feel weird about going to the bathroom. You sip your water. It's warm. Ew. Continue. Mysterious woman. <clears throat> hey, sorry I'm so... I'm so sorry I'm late. My car's in the shop and I had to take the tram here. Um, I understand. It happens to the best of us. Well, thank you. Though I don't really feel like the best... So, I'm Karen. I know your friend, Rebecca. What's your name? Oh, her name's Karen. My name's Karen. I'm 40 years old, and I drive a van, and I have three golden retrievers. I drive a Volvo. I used to be a porn star, but now I'm a mom. <laughs> uh, so what's, what do you want to, let's, let's be Josh. That was a reference to a song. In case you guys got it. It was? Yeah, Volvo driving soccer mom. She used to be a bad girl. She got gang banged in the bathroom of her high school prom. What is this? It's a song by Everclear. And, oh. she, and they're like, she used to be a real wild child, but now she is a Volvo driving soccer mom. Where do all the oh, porn wow, stars wow. go when Where? the lights go dim? They all become Volvo driving <laughs> sucker moms, which is totally probably like wow. based on someone, because Everclear lives in LA, and they probably were like, "I used to jack off to her, and now she has a family. Good for her." Yeah, <laughs> let's write a song about it. <laughs> <laughs> My name's Josh. A uh, cute name. Tell me what you do. Um. Software? I'm a software developer for a company that makes is a Do9 dog face oh dog, dog face, face filters. filters for selfies. I was like Do9, what's that? Oh, is programming as hard as I think it is? You must be smart. Um, <laughs> for Brainiac. Hold on, keep going. Um, for this Brainiac, it's easy. I write scripts in my sleep. Like, and the Matrix? The Matrix is a system, Karen. That system is our enemy. <laughs> now I gotta be watching for Elrond creeping around, don't I? <laughs> Why? Paranoid about something? The woman shifts uncomfortably for a moment. Oh, shit. We're She's the, like, we're in the he matrix. knows! <laughs> we're in the Matrix. You seem nervous. Are you okay? I was at first, but I feel a little better now. That's good. I try not to be too intimidating. <laughs> You're so intimidating, Karen. <laughs> so where are you from? <laughs> uh, from womb to tomb. Been living in the city my whole life. Oh my god. I love it. Really? Me too. I love the skyscrapers, the ocean, everything about this place. I'd say it's probably one of the best places to live. Uh... Wow, and here I think this city's a trap. I've been trying to get out of here since high school. What's in that... What's out in that great blue yonder white waiting for you then? Adventure? Romance? It's all just stories. I I always thought I'd go on to bigger and better things. Life can be a bit disappointing like that, huh? Oh shit, Karen, you're getting deep. Couldn't agree more. So, who was your last lover? Uh, excuse me? You heard me. Who was the last woman you slept with? Uh, it's been a long time, if it's really that important that you know. <sighs> I'm sorry, that was rude of me. Like I said, it's been a while since I've been on a date, <laughs> and I'm not very good at intera interacting anymore. So who was the last person you fucked? 
<laughs> what was her name? Where does she live? And what's her Facebook profile? They're like three sentences into this date, and she's like, tell me about the last person you fucked. I want to know her name, her address, her social security number, where she was born, the date of birth, and who or what her mother's maiden name is. You right know, now. You know what would really impress me is tell me her credit card number, the expiration date, and the CV code on the back. <laughs> yeah. And if you can, since you're a coder, can you, like, copy the chip in there? <laughs> <laughs> Laugh nervously. <laughs> I understand. I've been out of commission for a while, too. Thank you. She's got red eyes. Oh, my God. Is she What's-Her-Face from Twilight? She's What's-Her-Face from Twilight. Is she Bella? Is she going to eat us? Yeah. She's going to eat us. Yeah. See her red eyes? Yeah. I always figured that, like, Bella dying and become a va- becoming a vampire was, like, who she was meant to be. Because she was... <laughs> No, listen, I'm listen. just becoming my true self. No, it's for real because, like, in the pre before she became a vampire, she didn't like to eat and she was like, food's gross. She was always kind of like, meh. Hear that, everybody? If you have an eating disorder, you should just become a vampire. I mean, I'm not wrong. What is this thing over here? What is that? I don't know. It seems like we should have noticed that sooner. I think that's the premise of the game. Because, like, one of the reviews was, like, it gets weird without you noticing. Yeah. But I totally think that, uh, that's my fan theory of Twilight that I've watched ironically. Not seriously. <laughs> it's ironic. <laughs> I've seen it, like, five it's, times it's ironically. Five times, five times ironically. <laughs> it's my favorite comedy. <laughs> Uh, did you want to read the... Did you read I really the- appreciate you taking me out. This is a very nice restaurant. I was reading the reviews on the way over. Uh, the view is really cool, isn't it? That's so sweet. I'm surprised you haven't been on a date before. Wait, who said I haven't been on a date? So, how's Cassandra doing? How do you know that name? Do you seriously not remember your own mother's name? How, what? Uh, I do, but you're starting to freak me out. Had you not mentioned her before? No, I hadn't. I'm so sorry. My friend at work mentioned her. Apparently she used to work for the company, and I thought you'd said that. A weird coincidence. Or, yeah. Yeah, really weird. Why are you here? Well, I'm trying to have a nice date. Or I'm really beginning to question that. <laughs> That's not what I meant. Then what did you mean? Why are you here on this date? What made you come here today? Uh, I'm honestly at a loss for words. Oh, what? What? What What the fuck is going on? What's happening? What's her face? Okay. You've been living alone for nearly three years now. That's a long time to be alone with your thoughts. What does your voice sound like? What does... The one that eats away every day of your miserable existence. What the hell is wrong with you? God, you're pathetic. The way you drink, the way you sleep, your disgusting habits when you think nobody's watching. Come on, knock it off. I could see you shaking all the way from the entrance. Did you really think someone would actually want to come and meet you? The person just disappeared. Uh, I, I just don't want to be alone anymore. I can't handle it. You will always be alone, no matter what you try and do about it. You'll always... Do you really think anybody could ever reasonably love you? You're wrong. Far from it, this is exactly what you deserve. You hate yourself and hurt everyone around you, and yet you feel like you're owed the right to be lonely? Uh, I can't take it anymore. I just feel so empty inside. You've been dead inside for years. Maybe even your whole life. I've seen your eye I've seen you eyeing up the pills in your medicine cabinet every time you cowardice your cowardice wins out. I need help. What you need is to realize just how insignificant you are in the grand scheme of your own life, how feebly your voice resonates. You're fucking insane. No more insane than you are. No matter how crazy I am, you're still a whiny little squirt who only exists to bog, bog to bog others down with your problems to be continually ar- arcing, achingly, achingly lonely. Arkingly? It's hard to see this shit. Yeah. Uh, I don't know. Why are you saying these things? I'm 
I'm sorry. I know I sound angry, and I am, but it's not because I hate you. I just hate looking into your eyes and only seeing pain day in and day out. You're hollow. You're on a blind date, and you should be happy to be here, to be talking to me, and yet you look so hollow. I just want to be happy. We all want something, but unfortunately, you don't deserve that. This was a mistake. You shouldn't have come here. You should have stayed home, ordered a pizza. No reason to take this abuse from me. I could never fix everything that's fucked up about you anyway. But you won't? I never will. I'm not going to magically fix your problems. If anything, I just take them I just make them worse. I'm not the solution. I'm the problem. You're the problem. You get in the way of your own happiness. You are my obsession. I've followed you my whole life. I've never seen someone so unhappy. Oh, is he on a date with his own, like, insecure voice? It sounds like it. You know that voice that follows you around and goes, that's a stupid outfit, and you're like, shut up! And then it's obsessed with you? Yeah. You're a fucking idiot. No! <laughs> So, what do you want to say? So, what do I do now? I honestly don't know. That's something you'll have to figure out alone. You're not fit for a relationship. You shouldn't have to rely on a blind date to be here. You should be able to meet people on your own. You shouldn't have to come. You shouldn't have come here. Is this like trying to go on a date with your own inner voice and how you would like never like in the back of your head telling you that you suck like and every... like how you would never actually go on a date with somebody who treated you like this or like you know what it reminds me of like how so whenever i like say shitty things to myself i try to like sit there and reframe it as like would you say this to your friend and then my the answer is always no mm. so if i wouldn't say it to a friend i try not to say it to myself okay and so like this kind of reminds me of that where it's like if someone was saying this to you, it would be ridiculous. Yeah, and so why should you say it to yourself, you know? God, you're a mess. None of this should should have happened. I'd say that I've made things worse, but you're already a mental wreck before you walked in here. That's just what I am. It's har it hardly matters. You need to realize that nothing is, saying, is going to change. That a girl isn't going to change anything. One may come in your life every once in a while, but you'll you'll just be back where you are now. The underlying problem never gets fixed. Will it ever get better? No, it doesn't. You lead a barren, desolate life. Does this scare you? Does it terrify you? Because it should. You're alone. Completely, utterly worthless. You shouldn't have come. Your life is just going to be one endless stream of misery that only ends in your inevitable death. Faced with all this, with your loneliness, with this abuse, what are you going to do? I'm going to stay. I feel like leaving is, is okay. the better one. Oh, are you leaving? I'm sick of taking this from you. Avoiding your problems isn't going to help. You'll find yourself keep, you'll find yourself keep going around and around and around. I'll make my own choice, thank you. Is it, though? I wonder. If you were to do all of this again, would you choose any differently? Or are you doomed to return here again and again? You check your phone. She's ten minutes late. You're not sure what to do, and discomfort starts to settle into your stomach. Shift. Yeah, you should you adjust your collar a few times. Whoa. I think the d ending changes on if we did the same thing we did the first time. That was cool. Good job, Joshua Wilson and Mental Pop. His name is in the game. Our name was Josh. <laughs> we picked Josh. I think it would be fun if, like, the people were, like, the names that they chose and they had, like, a little poll to see, like, whose name was the coolest based on what, what people chose. They, thematically, they should choose whose name is the worst. Oh, like, based on what people... Well, yeah. I mean, well, however you want to put it, but, like, to to be like, oh, like, more people chose the name of who the programmer is or whatever. 